Hey, my good friends, Sam Haymart for Test Driven TV. Having just test driven the 2021 Lexus LC500 convertible, now it's time to take a detailed and technical tour of what's under the hood. The Lexus LC500 5 liter V8, designated 2UR GSE, is an engine exclusive to the brand with a very high feature content compared to the Toyota 5.7 liter V8 found in SUVs and trucks. To put it simply, it has a lot of expensive hardware and a much higher tune. It offers up 471 naturally aspirated horsepower and 398 pound-feet of torque. It achieves this through a number of technologies and operation modes starting with both port and direct fuel injection that can operate separately or together. Furthermore, dual variable valve timing has a wide band range which can operate the engine in both auto and Atkinson cycle. This means it can be a high performance monster for power with a 12.3 to 1 compression ratio and dial back to a pre-style combustion mode for higher fuel economy. With the cosmetic and sound shielding cover off, however, it's not nearly as pretty to look at as it all sounds. To that, the driver gets a velvety and devilish sound from this engine not only by way of its adaptive exhaust, but by way of a sound tube that routes the intake rhythm directly into the passenger compartment, among other things. Following the airflow, two air filter boxes beneath shrouds up front feed a large single throttle body up into a cast aluminum intake manifold and then down into the engine. Because the D4S fuel system features both port and direct fuel injection, you can see fuel rails under all of this if you look hard enough. The high pressure direct injection fuel components are hidden underneath its aluminum valve covers and each bank has its own fuel injector control unit mounted right onto the valve cover. With all of these systems, a great deal of wiring is routed virtually everywhere. Underneath all this componentry, the all-aluminum 32 valve V8 does have high revving lightweight hardware like forged connecting rods and titanium intake and exhaust valves. All of this affords its high revving nature and yes, it wants premium fuel. Looking around the engine compartment, the packaging is pretty tight here, but servicing the engine remains straightforward. Oil and dipstick are easily found on top of the engine as expected. The brake fluid is up at the driver's side firewall, easily reached and seen. Aside it is the ABS controller. The windshield washer fluid reservoir is located up front on the driver's side for easy check and top off, but getting to the coolant reservoir requires the removal of a small access cover at the front. It easily pops off and on with little drama. Notable on the LC500 are the cast aluminum shock tower structures on either side of the engine bay, and as our testers are convertible, significant cross bracing has been added to provide additional structural support. At the rear passenger side of the engine compartment is a fuse box accessible by popping clips. Inside is a fuse removal tool for easy plucking. The 12 volt battery, however, is located under an access panel in the trunk. There, an additional fuse block can be found also accessible by popping a few clips. All right, my friends, there you have it for what's under the hood of the 2021 Lexus LC500 convertible, the coupe, similar. Now, I had a great test drive with this car, and you can see that right there, or better yet, subscribe to TDTV Garage right there. Either way, stay tuned.